Hi, I'm Dr. Ashujit Kauranan. I'm the senior consultant and the clinical director at PCMH Resto Health at Shantinagar, Bangalore. Well, to begin with, whenever we diagnose somebody with HIV, we do screen them for tuberculosis because in India, uh, the people who are exposed to the chances of getting tuberculosis is high among the general population, which means even those who are negative at a very, are at a higher risk of developing tuberculosis. And people who have HIV because their immunity is so low that they are at a higher risk of developing tuberculosis and it is one of the most common co-infection which means that the most common infections which a person with HIV can develop. So uh, we screen normally for anybody who's as soon as they are diagnosed with, it, with HIV, we screen them for tuberculosis. And what we normally do is to do a sputum, that is the uh, phlegm which comes from your lungs is tested for the tuberculous bacilli, that means the bacteria, the tuberculous bacteria. And uh, the sputum is taken uh, at two times it is taken in a cup like when when you go to a lab you will have to immediately as as you go there there is something called a spot um, uh, testing which is at that moment you have to bring out your sputum into a cup and give it for testing and then the second sample we collect when early morning you wake up you cough out the sputum and that is given for testing this is one of the tests then if that test comes negative, then we do a chest X-ray to show to see if there is any um, sort of uh, lesion. What we call that means if there is any evidence of tuberculosis in the lungs. Sometimes when HIV patients come to us, they come at a very late stage. That means they are not diagnosed in early stage where their immunity level has really dropped down. There's something called CD4 count or the viral load is very high and the CD4 count is very low. In these cases, what happens is that we are unable to see the bacteria in the phlegm, the sputum which we take, or we might not be able to see any evidence or a shadow in a chest X-ray. So because the body is so weak, so low in immunity, it cannot fight the bacteria in the body and show any evidence of the disease. In this case, what we um, have to do is look for any other site of tuberculosis, like they can be having a lymph node. That means uh, the glands get swollen in the neck or in the armpits or even in the stomach we have to palp feel for the stomach and see if there are any glands palpable uh, or you can do a scanning of the stomach abdomen scan what we call and look for any lymph nodes if there are any lymph nodes in the neck or in the armpit then we do something called a FNAC which is you put a needle and take out the fluid and test for any TB bacteria if that is also not possible, then if the patient complains of fever, weight loss, loss of appetite, that means not feeling hungry, generally feeling tired, these when a patient complains of all these symptoms but does not have any evidence in the sputum, that is the phlegm or in the chest x-ray, we take it that the patient could be suffering from tuberculosis and we start treatment. The treatment involves taking the drugs for a period of six months to eight months depending on the type of tuberculosis. If it is in the sputum, if the bacteria is seen and the patient is not very sick, we normally give for six months where for two months we give four different types of medicines for two months and then 
the next four months it is three medicines which are given now this has to be given in this proper manner and it is to be given every day there earlier the government was also supplying this where the drugs were given alternate days which was called the dots but now even the government the who says that people with hiv should be given tuberculosis treatment every day for 6 months suppose the patient has tuberculosis in the brain or tuberculosis in the stomach any complicated tuberculosis in that case we give treatment up to 8 months to 9 months or sometimes even up to 1 year where their brain is involved here we give about four tab four medicines for the first two months uh, with a injection which is a streptomycin injection and then the third month we give only the four tablets four drugs not the injection and the next five to eight five to seven months we give three medications so this is the complete treatment of tuberculosis depending upon what is the type of tuberculosis